<laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Today is our second Moving in the Netherlands vlog. We are getting a lot of stuff done this weekend and then we should pro probably at the end of this video we will be moving. So yeah, it's it's exciting. We're getting the house nice and perfectly ready to move. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so our house is kind of just like in shambles right now. We've got, this is the kids' room. I mean, yeah, it's a mess. And then also our bedroom is quite a disaster. So I had this whole hallway full of boxes, but Ron has already got them in the car ready to move over. Yeah, Are you excited to go to the new house? <laughs> Um, but this weekend we decided that we are going to move over quite a bit of the stuff so that when the movers come, it's just going to be just the big furniture. So since we, um, if you guys hear a lot of noises, it's her little hand. <laughs> um, so that they just have to move the big furniture so it's a little bit cheaper since we did have to pay for the painters. Now, we haven't been to the house since it's been painted. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. According to the pictures... I don't have faith that even that looks good, and that was professional painters, so we can't give around crap if his walls also don't look perfect, so, <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. So it's ready to go. Yeah. You're ready to go, it's too. Good. The car, it's warm. It's, warm. Yeah, it's so when it's so when It's like raining, muggy. I sweat a lot. Yeah, lovely. I sweat between my, uh... Butt cheeks. Yeah, that's <laughs> my balls, I think. You like lovely. No, thanks. No, thanks. <laughs> no. Okay, first looks at the new walls. They look pretty good, except for the fact that the ceiling is a different white than the walls. But yeah, it's all white. Happy with it? I'm happy with it. Now, let's see the staircase. Hi, are you happy with it? <laughs> let's see. Yeah, this wall looks good. There's lots of mail. And this wall also looks good. Now let's see how Zola's room turned out. Is this all from ups from the paint? Yeah. It's from dust. Lovely. And yeah, it looks pretty good, Zola. You like your pink room? Now on to cleaning because we've got lots of cleaning to do. Look at that, my cleaning lady. Ooh, it's a cutie. <laughs> oh yeah, show me those moves. <laughs> of all the household chores, Ron is definitely the best at cleaning the floors. Huh, oh, babe? Mm -hmm. And always when I do that and you think that you know it better, and at first you start with complaining and then after that, sometimes you see it and you walk away. And then you, then you think, yeah, maybe he is right. Yeah, but you'll never hear maybe he's right. No, but I see that in your face. Mmm. Or uh, is it not true? I think I'm a better cleaning guy. What did you just say? I'm a better cleaning guy. That is wrong. False. Get on your hands and knees and clean those paint spots then, buddy. You can get go on your knees. <laughs> It's already clean. <laughs> okay, now get back to cleaning. Now, these stairs are really showing me just how out of shape I am. Oh, jeez. Maybe I'll get back in shape by going up and down these stairs. Or maybe I'll just be out of breath every time I go up and down them. Oh, I need to go to the gym. 
Good thing, one thing I'm most excited about living in this new house is that there are two local gyms that have childcare at least some of the days of the week. So super, super, super excited about that. So Ron left about like, yeah, maybe an hour ago to go back to the old house and pick up another load of stuff to bring over. I think he's on his way back now, but I have just been trying to get these floors downstairs clean. I'm making progress. I've done one full round of cleaning up. Now I'm doing the second mop and then I do one more mop with this at the end. Um, I already did the hallway um, and I cleaned up this table. And I can't decide if it's too big for in here, but it was like included in the house. And I feel like since it's a rental property, I don't want to like keep investing in pieces that are specific to this house, you know, since we know we aren't staying a long time. So I'm like, it works. I think we'll just leave it there. <laughs> I also, it's a nice color as well. So yeah, I think it'll work perfectly fine. And then I mopped the stairs a little bit. I again will want to go in again to the little corners and get them all cleaned up. But yeah, we are making some good progress. Hi, Zola. She's been a little bit cranky pants. She's teething, so the past few days she's been a little rough. Um. So Handyman Routon is now putting back up the little thing that covers the, and he's found this deliciousness of a filter. Uh -huh. Huh. Lovely. Again, if you hear some nonsense, it's because of her. He also put the curtains back up. What else have we gotten done? What else are we doing today? Ah. Whoa. Go back yeah, I just unpacked four suitcases full of clothing yeah. into our closet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah, all of the clothes in the closet, and put the boxes where they go, and yeah. So I think that's probably it for today, and then we'll come back tomorrow with a pack and box. How do you say it? Okay, good morning, morning. guys. <laughs> it's the next day and Ron has hey. made some decisions <coughs> or some, he has some thoughts about what we should do. What, what are we doing now? I think we can move. He just wants to move today. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'm the biggest planner. I don't have anything organized. But I make a to... plan yeah. for this morning. Yeah, yeah. It's so long. So it seems like today is going to be a busy day. But we have, first we need to see the trailer how big it is. Right, because as far as the measurements go, it seems like everything should fit. Yeah. But uh -oh. Sol is on her way over. But yeah, first so first I go to the gym. Yeah, you're gonna go to the gym. Up. Warm up for all the heavy lifting you're gonna do today. Yeah. I'm going to, I don't even know what to do right now. Like I need to do a lot then. Yeah, but I need to grab my car. You need to take suitcases though. Oh yeah. Yeah, sounds good. So I go, yeah. Get on it. Love you. Bye. So the decision has been made and now we're just kind of in the midst of a little bit of chaos here. <laughs> because yeah, I wasn't prepared. So I didn't pack everything up. So we're just kind of, I'm kind of frantically packing and figuring it out, huh, babe? Now, let's break this, uh, oh, yikes. I gotta dust this better than the new house. You can see where my arms can reach to behind the TV. <laughs> we are on a time crunch because his friend only has until four o'clock to help us. So he's gotta make sure we carry all the big stuff with him and then the rest of it I can help with. Good? Okay, let's get to it. Brown's friend Patrick has arrived and we've got the um, pack and box and it's the biggest one you can get. So hopefully we'll see how much fits and how many trips we're going to need to take, but we're getting it done. So 
we've got everything loaded up in here. Let's see. This is all loaded. You can see nothing. <laughs> I'll show you when we get there. But they loaded it all up and we are ready to go. Oh, this is zoomed in. There you go. But we're ready to get going. I don't know what they're doing. They were supposed to grab one last box and then be on their way. But it's taking a long time for them to get one last box. Oh, actually, no. I think Round went to the store to get a sandwich, a butram. So there was a little bit of a breakdown. Um, Zola had a the worst blowout she's ever had. And while sitting in the car, she had stuck her hands in it and was playing with it. So it was everywhere. It was everywhere. And so I just went and showered her and got her ready. And she was also overtired because she needed to take a nap. And so she was not happy with having to shower and didn't want to get put down to sleep because she was overtired. So that was really rough. I just spent like, yeah, maybe an hour getting her to sleep. And while I was doing that, um, Ron and Patrick were unloading the car. And so I didn't actually get a video of that because they didn't think to grab the camera. <sighs> what professional vlogger Ron is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they are on their way back to the house to grab the couch and the TV stand and TV and stuff. Hopefully that all fits in there because we have a very large couch. Um, but yeah, and then I think that'll be it for today for Patrick because Patrick has to get home by four. I don't know how many more times we're going to go back and forth, but we still got like Zola's room stuff and then just like little bits and bobs. But we also have next week, next weekend to get other stuff that's like not as essential, like our bookcase and what else? Yeah, other stuff that I need to pack, but we'll do that tomorrow. That back stuff can all go just like in the backseat of the car. So yeah, I just have to clean all this up because they just kind of dumped it all in here. So I've been in the process of moving it all upstairs and where it goes. And then I'm going to clean the floor one more time and then they'll put the living room furniture in here. All right, the boys are back and ready to rumble. move. <laughs> to rumble. <laughs> but they said that they got a lot of the stuff. They got even a lot of Zola's room stuff, so including... 60% 60%. Yeah. Where? Two more rounds, remember, uh, is the couch in there? Yeah, it is. Oh, let me see. <laughs> yeah. We made it. Okay, you get a little jigsaw. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's really just the couch that's in here. No, no, it's the Where's the, and the. Oh, and the TV the stand. Zola's bed's back there too. Oh yeah, I see. Okay. Nice. No, oh, you really see the mess that is this house right now. I really was looking forward to having two more weeks just to like really organize and make sure everything is perfect and like ready to move. And this house was perfectly cleaned and ready to move. But that obviously was not what happened. So it's just a mess. But we're getting there, making progress. We're doing good. Oops, Zola, the couch is coming in. Hey Zola, you're gonna get stepped on. Making progress. Now we are on to our last unloading. That goes into Lewis and Lexi's room. Hey Zola, are you chilling in the jungle? Yeah! It's your bedtime. <laughs> but yeah, so we're making progress here. We've got lots of our stuff. And then we've just got a lot of organizing to do. We are kind of in a time crunch on what time we got to get the Packenbach back? Packenbach? I 
still can't figure it out. Whatever it is. <laughs> we have to get that back in an hour and a half, and it's a 45-minute drive. So we do have to speed it up. Yeah, are you having fun eating that rice cake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting there. Good morning. We are right back at it, getting things built. Ron is making the table. I swore that it would be way too big for this space. It seems like it'll be at least doable for now until we can find something a little smaller. Yeah. So that's exciting, not having to worry about not having a dining room table. Wow, I did not do my hair this morning. <laughs> You can really see that I um, was pregnant. I, I have so many little broken hairs now. They're like little horns. I feel like that I, um, that's crazy that I need coffee. Yeah. Otherwise I have some headache. It's also not good. Huh? Yeah, you're addicted to coffee. Yeah. But I, cause he said he's gonna try to stop drinking so much coffee. And, uh, cause normally he drinks, how many cups do you drink a day? Uh, in the morning I drink then two espressos. Yeah, and then throughout the day? Uh, 16. 16? No, I don't know. But well, too many. But I drink coffee from because of I'm boring. Or you're bored, yeah. Like, oh yeah, bored, I'll take a yeah. drink. Uh, people offer coffee a lot here, you know? Yeah. Like if you go into a building, they say, oh, coffee, tea. You know, and then you end up coffee, tea at every building you go into. Yeah. You're drinking 10 coffees a day. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, he's trying to cut that out. We're moving to the new house and we're getting a new start. I'm going to start eating healthy, going on long walks with Zola, going to the gym because there's daycare and, and you have a nice park. Lessons. A park with a lake. Yeah, yeah. So we I are like excited. to mountain bike. Zola is on the move, we're trying to uh, find new things to scavenge on the floors here. Oh, yeah. We are, are we going to go one more time to the house today and pick up like last things that are in and there? Maybe not everything. No, no, but like things that we need. But for, like, I don't like to go meals. a long time. Well, I need also uh, tonight uh, to rest. Uh, I need to go to work. Yeah. Probably uh, I need one. to drive a little bit longer now. No, it's the same. Yeah. Um, More kilometers. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, we're just going to go and get like pots and pans and things that I need to live here for a week <laughs> at Silverware. Yeah, and an internet cable. And an internet cable, yeah. <laughs> so we did a trip back to Horkham and back, and then Round decided instead of having a chill rest of the day, we're going to build the bunk beds. So the bed fits exactly in this room, so building it is going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> but do you know which one is which? Size. Yeah, well, this one is the side without the ladder, and this is the side that has the ladder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me go grab the screws. Yay, Zola! Ow! Banged my elbow oh, really hard on those stairs. The whole day. Ow, freaky back. Ow, freaky fruit. Ah. We are so lumpus, Mama. I lied when I said it was only 12 screws. Yeah, I saw that already. It's a lot more than 12. <laughs> Jola, what are you doing? Up to no good. Pedro, 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 Pedro. Um, why is this side so much lower? It's upside down. Yeah, Sorry. I'm done with it, too. <laughs> it's another time. I think building IKEA stuff is the best relationship you can have. It's yeah. better than building a tent. Yeah, building IKEA furniture. It really is a test of the relationship. Whoa. Why is this not working? Is it because this is up, down? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, now it's good. Okay. Now I need to another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
but my head is exploding. Oh no! So let's bob into the music over there. Um, yeah, that's shit. <laughs> Yeah. Three man job. Okay, now I can hold like this. And I can put a screw in. Yeah, on that side. So, oh, easy peasy. Huh? Easy. Easy peasy! Hey guys, so it is now the next day. Yesterday we just finished up the bunk beds and then we just kind of had a chill rest of the afternoon. We went to the grocery store, did a workout in the backyard, that was it. So Ron is at work today. So it is officially my first day here alone and we are moved in. I'm so happy that we actually are moved in, but the house is a mess. Um, just cause like we packed and moved over so quickly that everything is just kind of a little bit unorganized I feel. And so I've got a lot to get done. This morning I already did unpacked all of Zola's room and all of Lewis and Lexi's room, made their beds and everything. So that's all done. We still have to do my bedroom, but we have so much clothes that like, and we have one less full like double door closet here than we did at our old house. And that, it, it was full, our closets were full. So I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do with them. At this house we have a lot more storage, which is nice. So we have like the full upstairs and we have the outside berging. So I'm sure I can just like do seasonal, stores half the stuff away but yeah gotta figure that out but that's for another time we're only in there to sleep so it can be a mess for a few more days <laughs> uh, but right now my goal is the kitchen because this is a disaster i'm like in the middle of unpacking i was planning on ordering a bunch of stuff to like organize like extra shelving and stuff like that and like a little lazy Susan for our spices, things like that, just to make it a little more organized because this kitchen is quite a bit smaller, like storage wise than the old house. So I like don't know really where to put everything. So everything's just kind of on the countertop, but I don't have any of the things that I wanted to organize it. So I think it's just gonna be a mess. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna kind of throw everything in the cabinets. Maybe not throw everything, but put everything in the cabinets as best I can, and then I'll reorganize a little bit once I get the supplies that I need to actually organize them. Let's get this clean. I will show you right now what I'm working with. progress for today. Ow! Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you will enjoy all of the vlogs to come. Wow, really just, I think this whole video, my hair has just been a disaster. I gotta do something with it, I gotta figure it out. But um, <laughs> yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content we will be vlogging and posting every week is the goal so see you on the next one